Hey, how's it going? My name is Serena and welcome to my studio. What are metallics and metallic mixatives? What colors are they available in? What's the difference between the brands? How are they different from regular alcohol inks? And how do you use them? Today, I'm going to answer these questions and more in today's edition of Alcohol Inks A to Z. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel using the subscribe button to be the first to know when I release new information on alcohol inks, including techniques, demos, tricks, and tips. Metallics and metallic mixatives are inks which create special accents that can be added to alcohol ink work. Unlike regular alcohol inks, they contain pigments, and if you're wondering about the difference between pigments and dyes, feel free to check out my video, What is Alcohol Ink? Now because they're pigments, they can overpower your alcohol ink colors if you don't use them sparingly. As of right now, Jacquard Piñata and Tim Holtz Ranger make them. Piñata's metallics are called metallics. Ranger's metallics are called metallic mixatives. Here's the metallic and mixatives color chart for Piñata. The ones that are circled are the metallics. And here's the metallic and mixatives color chart for Tim Holtz Ranger. Here's Piñata's description of what they are. 034 copper and 035 brass are beautiful metallic colors made from real metal pigments, like the super popular 033 silver and 032 rich gold, that glisten and shine. The metallic white 036 pearl is made with super reflective mica pigment and is terrific for mixing with the dye base colors to create entirely new palettes of pearlescent inks. These three new colors are opaque, light fast and shine with unparalleled luster. Blanco 030 is also an opaque pigmented color used for creating tints and pastels. The metal particles are tiny and they lie flat which produces a highly reflective, smooth metal surface. They can be applied to almost anything. Paper, plastic, wood, glass, for decorative purposes only. Canvas, metal, foil, ceramic, rubber, vinyl, you name it. The piñata metallic colors are perfect for scrapbookers and paper artists whenever a true metallic is desired, as well as for oil painters, acrylic painters, window painters, sculptors, and crafters of all kinds. Here is Ranger's description. Metallic mixatives are luminous, fast-drying, acid-free inks specially formulated to create metallic highlights when combined with the Adirondack alcohol inks. Use them on all non-porous surfaces such as light or dark gloss paper, dominoes, glass, and other slick surfaces. Note, Ranger does not recommend using Tim Holtz alcohol inks, metallic mixatives, snowcap mixative, or alcohol ink blending solution in spray bottles as these contents contain alcohol and should not be airborne. I should mention that I've been advised that misting with these or using these in spray bottles or making them airborne is very, very dangerous, especially if it gets in your eyes or your lungs. I would take the same precautions and avoid misting with the piñatas as well. Also, when you go to the Tim Holtz Ranger site for Snowcap, you can see that they have it listed as a mixative, along with gold, silver, copper, gunmetal, rose gold, and pearl which are metallic mixatives. Snowcap is a mixative, but not a metallic mixative, because even though it contains pigment like the other mixatives, it doesn't have a metallic sheen, just like the Piñata Blanco. There is another video on white mixatives comparing Snowcap and Blanco. Piñata makes five metallics. Gold, silver, brass, copper, and pearl. The gold and silver are currently available in two sizes. This 14.7 mil or 0.5 ounce bottle, as well as 118 mil or 4 ounce bottles. All of the bottles are currently sold individually. 
The brass, copper, and pearl are only available in these 118 mil or 4 ounce sizes at this time. This is important to note because these bottles don't have a spout, unlike the 14.7 mil or 0.5 ounce size. So if you use brass, copper, or pearl, you'll either need to use a dropper or syringe to transfer it to another bottle. By contrast, Ranger makes six metallic mixatives. Here we can see that we have gold, silver, copper, rose gold, gunmetal, and pearl. All of them are available only in 14.7 mil or 0.5 ounces in a bottle with a nozzle so you can use it right out of the bottle. Now they're sold individually as well as in these two pack sets. Gold and silver are sold together, as well as copper and pearl, and gunmetal and rose gold are sold together. Because they contain pigments, they tend to settle at the bottom over time so you can get a separation. All of the metallic and metallic mixative bottles in both brands have a small metal ball bearing in them. This is what it looks like for the piñata large size. This is what it looks like for the piñata small size. And this is what it looks like for the Ranger. Now here's a close-up of a bottle of piñata rich gold and you can see that it's really separated. You can see that the top is almost watery and at the bottom all this pigment has settled. If you apply it without shaking you'll end up with parts that have more pigment. So before you use it, you need to shake it to make sure the pigment moves throughout so you get a consistent application. It's ideal to shake the bottle vigorously for a good few seconds, preferably until you hear the ball bearing. If you don't hear the ball, just keep shaking it because there's a good chance that the pigments are really settled. You can give it some hard taps on the table as well. I've heard it suggested, at least for the Rangers, that they're meant to be stored on their sides. In my experience, this helps as the pigments have more room to spread out as they settle so they don't get as concentrated and stuck in such a small area at the bottom of the bottle. Some people prefer to take the cap off and use their finger over the bottle when they shake it. This is to prevent the inside of the cap from getting covered with ink when you shake it with the cap on and the ink gets all over the inside. For the large piñata bottles, this might be more challenging because of the size of the bottle opening. So here are the swatches I made of all the metallics and metallic mixatives, with no other inks or blending solution. I just painted these onto black modeling film and white Upo so that you could have a quick visual of what they look like. Many people want to know how the metallics react with different alcohol ink products, so I'm going to show you the metallics alone, with blending solution, with alcohol ink added, and with opaque white mixative. The only exception is the pearl, which I'm going to show with gold instead of white mixative since it's already an almost off-white color. For the alcohol ink, I'm using Pool by Ranger. For the white mixative, I'm using Snowcap by Ranger. And for the blending solution, I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol. This next part might seem tedious because I'm trying so many combinations, 
If you don't want to watch this section and you just want the end result, the video description lists where I do a final comparison. However, if you want to watch me test these out because you'd like to see how they move in response to different changes, stick around and let's get going. Again, for each of these, I'm going to do all the samples on both white UPO and black modeling film so you get a sense of the intensity with both a light and a dark background.
I found that the metallics can overpower your alcohol inks if you use too much. I feel it's best to start with a little and add more in slowly because once you add them in, you can't easily take them away. Use them sparingly. Even though I use the metallics right from the bottle or with a dropper, you can use other tools and get creative when putting them on. You can use sponges or even a paintbrush. Alcohol ink artist Sharon Harris shared this tip. You can dry metallics in palettes and reconstitute them using alcohol or blending solution to add metallic accents with a brush. You can also experiment with using metallics with other mediums. If you recall what it says on the piñata site about metallics, the piñata metallic colors are perfect for scrapbookers and paper artists whenever a true metallic is desired, as well as for oil painters, acrylic painters, window painters, sculptors, and crafters of all kinds. Even though I tried to do a comprehensive comparison, there's no way I could do a video that would cover all of the variables. So just consider that the following factors will change the effects of your metallics and metallic mixatives. What surface or substrate you use. What blending solution is used. Amount of blending solution added. Ink brand or color used. If opaque white is added. The order it's applied in and how long you wait between adding them. If you've been meaning to play with metallic mixatives, but you're just building up the courage or you've been looking for ideas, consider starting by doing swatches of them mixed with different colors of inks and try playing with these variables. Try them with different colored inks to see what color combinations you like best. Try playing with combinations of alcohol ink colors as well as gold, silver, brass, copper, gunmetal, rose gold, opaque white, and pearl. Play with the order you add them in. Experiment using them on different substrates. Use different blending solutions to see which one gives you the flow you like best. And experiment with changing the timing. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. What's your favorite metallic and why? Let me know in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be the first to know when I release new alcohol ink videos. Other videos will include blending solutions, surfaces and substrates, tools to get alcohol ink effects, and so much more. So see you soon. Cheers.